This movie tells a story about June and Charlie, two strangers involved in bad relationships who wind up in the same Airbnb during the pandemic. First of all, this movie is boring. The story is banal and predictable. Being stuck with an attractive and kind stranger and falling in love would be a best case shot in scenario, no matter how impossible and corny that sounds. The opening of the movie is decent, but it leads into a series of contrived moments as our character tries to flee upstate. This is not a movie that's going to shock you with its plot. It's pretty easy to guess where all this is going, so you'd better get there with some style. Unfortunately, there's none to be found here. No sparkling conversation or attractive characterization. The dialogue is downright dire. All flat exchanges of information and banal insight and inconsequential chit-chat. Their boredom is contagious and their small talk is not exactly refetting. Their motivations are murky and the procession of events is comically neat. The script contains no witty banter, the direction holds little interest, and to make it worse, the two main leads offer zero chemistry. When the big confrontation with John finally comes, they keep crossing and counter-crossing without motivation. It becomes clear that this proportionate amount of time given to June and Charlie's coupling has sort changed the chance to understand John and June. And because we only have a superficial familiarity with the couple's year-long relationship, their eventual confrontation doesn't pack as much of an emotional punch as it should. The film does get ridiculous at times, true to its TV movie aspirations. The lady in the Grand Central suggests taking a leave, and June hits her advice without thinking twice, despite her destination being very far away. June arrives at the Airbnb with a weakened back, but she inexplicably has access to an entire wardrobe. Early on, June apologizes to Charlie for not wearing makeup when the actor obviously is made up. One moment June is inconsolable over the devastating news of her grandpa's death and her inability to give him a proper funeral due to the pandemic. In the next, she is all smiles on the bike ride with Charlie. It seems that everything is magnified until it's not, and everything matters until nothing does. Overall, this movie is not worth your time. It's simply bland and boring. We do not recommend this movie at all.